Even though I was working out twice a week, the day came where I struggled to get a gallon of milk in the refrigerator, so we got an appointment the very next day. My two girls and wife were there. And Dr. Dunaway ran an EMG. He suggested that we go on our family vacation sooner rather than later. I was a musician for, hmm, well, I played the guitar ever since I was in the fifth grade. But my hands has got this way within the last year. And uh, <laughs> this is the first time I haven't had calluses on the ends of my fingers in <laughs> 55 years. But um, I miss the music. It's the little things in life that we take for granted. How do they live with this? So that's where we come in. We go in and we find out what their situation is. We find out what they're up against. And then we reach out and try and find them the resources that they're gonna need. Doug was diagnosed with ALS in 2015. He was the healthiest human being I've ever met in my life, so self-disciplined. You know, he'd be the last person you would ever, ever think to come up, come down with something like this. I remember times when she would call and she'd say, Barbara, I don't know what it is he needs. And she'd be in tears. And She'd say, he can't tell me, he just keeps looking at me. I know there's something he needs. And I'd walk her through the checklist. And you do call them out of desperation, like when Doug fell and hit his head. Every minute of that day, any time I needed her, she, she was there. We find out the other needs that they have that we can fill in, whether it's getting equipment for them, um, whether it's taking care of something around their home, arranging for additional care, whatever it is they need. Getting people over to move furniture for me out of the bedroom when we had to move in a hospital bed, even if it's just to come hang out with Doug while I would run an errand. The one thing that we never do is charge the patients or their families for any of our services. They are never sent a bill. They never have to pay a dime for what we do. Even though we have a wonderful medical community here in Tulsa, we could not have gotten through this without APSO because they came in when I needed somebody the most. They were always available. So we need funding, we need volunteers, we need awareness, and we need to be used. I see a huge need for APSO. They fill that gap like nobody else and do it well extremely well.